<laughs> Season 3, episode 86. Goku is healed. Vegeta is taking a beating. Oh, you did it again. Goku taking his time. It's a good thing that uh, Frieza didn't do a Dende to Vegeta. <laughs> Got tail flung. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna hit him? Is it gonna happen? Oh, there's a noise. Go, go! やっぱりでけえ気の症。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父さん。お父
Okay, a little more writing on this conflict. Narrator. There it is. What did we get? What did we get in that episode? We got uh, actual consequences for Vegeta, apparently, and a burial, uh, hopefully a live burial, and Vegeta will be okay, but that's something that we will just have to see going forward. So, it did establish, however, some greater stakes for Goku, not just in saving his friends, but the legacy of the Saiyans, and uh, revenge on behalf of the Namics, all as part of his conflict against Frieza. I do certainly miss, because it's been a while now I do certainly miss just kind of the basic shenanigans storytelling that we got you know in original Dragon Ball and meeting new characters having different setups you know having different resolutions all that sort of thing I do miss that aspect of the the show there is something great about having this kind of protean nature though of your storytelling wherein you can have very different tones and structures and lengthy arcs that just follow one particular path when it comes to storytelling that is completely different from other paths that you've taken in your show because when you watch you know American shows they tend to have very similar setups and payoffs and structures for each one of the episodes throughout the entire run of the show and they'll have you know dramatic highs and lows and that kind of thing but it's usually the same structure whereas in this they are willing to do some very different things like they'll have these lengthy setup conflict plots whereas uh, you know, previously they might have very different kinds of plots that, that people have to go into. At least we haven't had to run into Bulma for a while, so that's been nice. But there's definitely nothing mechanically complex that's going on right now related to the storyline. It was set up that this is the conflict, and now they're having their conflict. You know, even earlier on in DBZ, you had the original Saiyans who show up, and Vegeta, and that conflict being so, so momentous because it was about Goku's entire history. And with Frieza, you have a little bit of that, but it's kind of just a replay of of that dramatically and emotionally and all that so there's not there aren't a whole bunch of mechanics that are going on when it comes to the world building or anything like that anyway so that's that's enough rambling <laughs> for that regardless they set up the threat of frieza i think this design of frieza is awesome it looks super cool it's very unique and it's fun to look at the different kinds of attacks that they have him doing and all that sort of thing and goku definitely has this kind of maturity now that he didn't have and other conflicts it seems so uh, we'll just see what happens in the next one